We have successfully created a user schema, a mongoose user schema, that defines the attributes that make up our models as well as the requirements for the data that goes inside of that attribute, whether or not it is a string, a boolean, a number, and whether or not it is required. Now, cool thing is, is that the schema is can become extremely complex and there are other ways to do validation, like is it a properly formatted email? We're not gonna go into that. That is something I will leave up to you to go learn on your own, but you can add other types of validation to your schemas in order to handle stuff like that. In other words, is it a valid email? Now that we have a good schema, let's talk about models. So we're gonna run into the model documentation here in Mongoose. Again, it's inside the documentation, just click on models and right here, really models represent a compiled form of the schema and they are the actual objects that we use in our application to begin creating and utilizing the data from a database as well as putting data into the database. They become the actual individual users that are logging into our application or that are coming out of the database when we're manipulating them. And so really, it's really simple to get the actual, get the actual model set up. And all we do down here is inside of our schema, We've already set up Mongoose, we already have our schema, we've built the schema. To set up a model, really all we have to do down here is do const user. I'm using capital because this of course ends up being a constructor function to build new users. And then we're gonna do mongoose.model and then we are going to pass into it the name of our model and this model is a user and we are gonna pass the schema that we want this model to use to validate all of the data that comes into it. And then because this right here is the user.js file and it is a good old node module, we of course need to do a module.exports on it. And we need to pass out that user object. And now we have a full blown user model that uses our schema for validating all of its attributes. And we can begin using this user object to actually create objects inside of our application that represent individual users. And the cool thing here is, is that the Mongoose model, we're saying user right here, but if we go back into our database and we look at our Mongoose test app and we look at the collection, our collection is called users, it's plural. The cool thing is, is that Mongoose, because we're talking about an individual user, in other words, this model represents a, an individual user, the Mongoose takes care of translating this individual user into the collection, and the collection that is associated with this particular model will be users, because our collection, if you think about it, stores more than one user. In other words, it's a collection of users. So it has a plural name, whereas a model represents an individual unique user that would be inside of this collection. And we're going to see more how this works once we start inserting, updating, and working with the model to begin creating actual data. So that right there is the basics of a model inside of our application. And now with that model, we can begin creating new users, inserting them into our database, as well as getting users out of our database. Before we can start doing that though, we need to come back to our index.js and we need to import our user model into our application so we can begin to use it. So right here, since we've already talked about these when we did the setups, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these comments. That way our code is a little bit more dense and concise so that we can see more of the actual code. So up here, since we're going to begin using this user, I'm going to go ahead and do const user. And again, remember it's a constructor object, a constructor function. And so we want to make sure it's capital so we know that we're using it as an actual creator of something. And in this case, it's the creator of a new user object. And now we're gonna go ahead and pull in our user file. So let's go to models 
And then we are going to pull in our user right there. Just a reminder, make sure you always use your semicolons. I've seen a lot of lazy programmers that don't use semicolons to terminate their statements. Get in the habit. And then also make sure you're using let or const instead of var. And also make sure that you're actually using let or const, that you're not just dynamically creating a variable like that. That's just bad practice. All right, we'll get off my soapbox. All right, so now we've imported our actual user model and we are now in a position down here to begin using our user model to create new users pull new users from the database, as well as update existing users in the database once we've created some, as well as deleting users from our database and querying our database for particular users based on the attributes defined inside of their schema. Like we could search on emails or names or last names or on roles. And we're gonna go ahead and call that good right now. You can see how easy it was to create the model. All we did was two lines right here. Mongoose model, we gave it a name, we passed it the schema we want it to use to validate its data, and then we exported it. And then wherever we want to use that model, we simply import it or require it into that file that we're gonna be using it in. And in this case, we've got a really simple app. So we included it into our index.js and we will begin using it once we are connected to Mongoose to actually begin creating objects inside of our domain. We will call that good.